About a week ago, Igor Chudov came across a substack titled Booster Shots. When he investigated, he discovered that Booster Shots was the coordinating site of a virus's do not exist psychological operation, SILP. The site instructed people how to post on forums promoting the no virus theory and the Substack's authors even bragged about getting people worked up about it. We're not saying everyone who posts viruses do not exist comments are part of this SELP, but what we are saying is that people need to be mindful that those who run SELPs will infiltrate all sides of a debate in order to take control of the narrative to serve their purposes. At all times, we need to take care and assess what we read and watch with wisdom and discernment, not only in corporate media but also on social media, independent media, blogs and citizen journalist sites. Also remember that just because certain words are repeated over and over again, it does not make them true. In fact, SELPs use repetitive slogans, build back better comes to mind, to influence behavior and perceptions. But as soon as we ask, for example, build what? Better than what? The slogan falls apart. One indicator a statement is at least credible is whether it can withstand scrutiny, a repetitive slogan viruses do not exist providing no further information does not pass the scrutiny test, just as with the example of build back better. Another indicator is to look, for example, at the social media profile of the person commenting or posting to try to assess whether they appear genuine or not. Further reading, The Ultimate Guide to Psychological Operations, SOPS, Intelligence 101, the 19th of February 2021 below is an article by Igor Chudvo explaining how he uncovered, by chance, this particular viruses do not exist SOP. Viruses do not exist was a substack SOP, and a nice try. By Igor Chudov remember how very many substacks were beset with numerous comments claiming that viruses do not exist? A lot of substackers, myself included, responded to these claims. I even started a debate that received 1,663 replies and was very lively. Read more. Debate. Viruses do not exist? Or do they? Igor Chudov, the 5th of September 2022 Very many other substackers provided interesting, informative, insightful, at times, emotional write-ups on this topic. This includes a Midwestern doctor, Steve Kirsch, Stephanie Braille, James Lyons Weiler, Meryl Nass, Amy Suquin, and more. Please let me, Igor Chudov, know who else posted on this topic prior to today, whose post garnered at least 20 comments, and I will add it to my list. To some people, the insistence that viruses do not exist seemed odd as the no virus theory contradicts almost every person's life experience of getting infected with viruses, such as chickenpox, and acquiring immunity. As a tolerant person, I have no problem with people believing in whatever they want, so the debate I started was an opportunity to learn from each other. So up from Booster Shot Substack about a week ago, I searched duck duck go for my name just to see what was up and saw something weird that attracted my attention. It was a Substack site boostershots.substack.com, archive link. This is his logo. It turns out that Boostershots was the coordinating site of the SOP and instructed people how to post on forums promoting the no virus theory. The authors even bragged about getting people worked up about it, about my debate, Steve Kirsch etc. The instructions to followers go on, therefore, I believe it will be helpful to provide the best plausible explanations for all of the most popular diseases from the perspective of terrain theory that new free thinkers could rightfully question or challenge and we must honestly admit uncertainty and adhere to the continuous pursuit of truth and the scientific method if we don't fully understand something yet. So here's the idea, I'd like to create a sort of common sense germ theory versus terrain theory pamphlet the Booster Shots news team is seeking to hire experienced researchers, editors, graphic designers, and meme lords. We will pay you with vodka, picked herring, and indecision. While I was only slightly peeved when I discovered that both Level 1 Igor Chudov and Level 2 Steve Kirsch had revealed themselves as germ believest mercenaries, I was absolutely fucking livid when I would later discover that my most admired Level 3 Substack hero is pulling the same exact bullshit. This went on for a while, but it looks like the author abandoned his or her attempts to run this silk as of the 26th of September 2022. 
The instructions are highly educational for anyone attempting any silk. Why did the no virus silk fizzle? However, this silk fizzled. Why? In my opinion, this entire operation was an attempt to hitch a cart to a dead horse, no virus theory, flog this dead horse, and get the cart going. The dead horse did not go very far, and that explains why the booster shots campaign was abandoned eventually. The no virus theory is not exactly new, it predates the virus theory, and it never went very far in the last 100 years, on or outside of Substack. Our own anti-vax campaign is a great counterexample, we have a multitude of opinions, can handle disagreement, our thoughts are constantly sharpened by these disagreements, and broad truth is behind us. Our horse is very much alive. Last note to all virus deniers dear virus deniers, while I firmly believe that viruses exist, I also would like to reiterate that each of you, including people booster shots explicitly mentioned, is a welcomed reader of my substack, and I love to hear your future opinions about anything. Also, I am not mad in any way at anyone. It was a nice try, it was fun while it lasted, and the whole story was an interesting attempt of a likely young individual to run their personal and very harmless operation. It provides us with much food for thought and shows an anatomy of an influence operation colloquially described as a silk. Nobody was hurt in the end. Featured Image, Information Warfare, Pakistan's Deadly Psy Ops Campaign on India, 10 September 2019